Hello friends, welcome again. As we have already prepared the simplex table number 1, now let us prepare simplex table 2 for this solution. And we need to write row 3 and row 4. Row 3 will take the place of row 1 and row 1 is the key row. So row, formula of row 3 is row 1 divided by key element. R1 divided by 50 that is 150th of R1. So 20 divided by 50 will be 2 by 5. 50 divided by 51 minus 1 divided by 50 minus 1 by 50. 0 divided by 50 0. We are going to drop the column of A1 because now A1 will not be here as solution variable as it is the variable of outgoing row. So we will have to change it. So no row of A1 is there now. Hmm. 0 divided by 50 is 0. 96 divided by 50 is 12. Sorry, 4800 divided by 50 is 96. Now, second row that is R4 which will take place of R2. Old row minus sign. The element in the key column in the same row 50 into replaced row R3. Now we know that R3 itself is the result of R1 divided by 50. So if we multiply R3 again by 50, it will be R1. So ultimately the formula is R2 minus R1. A very easy formula. R2 minus R1. 20 minus, uh, 80 minus 20. 60. 50 minus 50. 0. 0 minus minus 1, it is plus 1 or positive 1. Minus 1 minus 0, it remains minus 1. 1 minus 0, it remains 1. 7200 minus 4800, 2400. So now we have all the two rows. Let us substitute the variables. Since R1 was the key row, we have to drop its variable in favor of the variable of the key column. So x1 will take, sorry, x2 will take place of a1 and there will be no change in the variable of the second row. It will remain as a2. The coefficient of x2 in the objective function is 24 and that of a2 is m. Now we can write zj values. 24 into 2 by 5, 48 by 5 plus m into 60, 60 m. 48 by 5 plus 60 m. Similarly, 24 into 1, 24 m into 0, 0. 24 plus 0 is 24. 24 into minus 1 by 50 is minus 24 by 50 plus m into 1, m. Minus 24 by 50 plus m. 24 into 0 is 0. m into minus 1 is minus m. 0 plus minus m is minus m. 24 into 0, 0, m into 1, m, 0 plus m, m. I don't suggest to write the solution value in the z0, but if you want to write, you can multiply 24 and 96 plus it will be 2400 m. So it will be 2304 plus 2400 m. But I suggest that write zj value only when we reach the object, uh, optimal solution, particularly in case of big M method. In your own, you can write it. Now delta J values. Cj minus Zj. 40 minus 48 by 5 plus 60 M. 24 minus 24, 0. 0 minus, minus 24 by 50 plus M. 0 minus minus m, positive m, m minus m, 0. We have to simplify these two for the purpose of comparison because these three values are 0 or positive. But in case of minimization, to have the optimal solution, we should have all values 0 or positive. Let us check these two. 40 minus 48 by 5 minus 60 m. Here it will be 
पॉजिटिव ट्वेंटी फोर बाय फिफ्टी बिकॉज माइनस इन टू माइनस पॉजिटिव माइनस एम नाउ हियर इट इज माइनस सिक्सटी एम हियर इट इज ओनली माइनस एम सो वी कैन से दैट दिस इज द स्मॉलर वन एंड वी एंड बोथ आर नेगेटिव बिकॉज एम इज एज लार्ज एज इंफिनिटी or largest possible value in the simplex table so minus 60 m is far less than minus m ignore all other factors because they are very small against m and since this is case of minimization we have to select the smallest delta j value so we are selecting this value now what now we have already selected x1 as our key column we have to use the key column to divide the solution values to get the replacement or minimum ratio 96 divided by 2 by 5 96 into 5 first of all that will be 480 divided by 2 will be 240 2400 divided by 60 that is 40 we have to select the minimum positive ratio so we are going to select 40 ultimately we have selected r4 as r kiro X1 is key column, R4 is key row. Its common element 60 becomes the key element. In the next table, our starting point will be the second row in the place of R4. That will be R6, and its formula will be R4 divided by 60. But we are going to discuss all these things in the next video lecture. Thank you.